Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I wish I had known before moving to Ghana, or rather Accra as this is where I am currently based. So I wish I had known some of these things that I'm going to mention, then I would have prepared myself more before leaving home and maybe handled situations better that I found myself in and not been impatient or rather just dealt with them and moved on right but actually I have moved on some from some of these things but I just wish I knew them beforehand and you know things we could have gone smoother or more smoothly what kind of English is that I mean more smoothly <laughs> so that I could have come and just you know gone with the flow but you know um, it's okay I now know and I want to share with those of you who are coming to Ghana or are looking to move here then you know what to do and you know you won't be as oblivious as I was so the very first thing is I wish I had known that accommodation could be pr quite pricey here especially if you're looking to live in a more suburban area and more central then you obviously have to fork out more money but in comparison to some of the cities I've lived in I found that accommodation can be quite pricey especially for what you're getting and the square footage and all of that it is quite expensive so just find yourself having to save beforehand and know that you may also have to pay a year's rent or even sometimes you can get a lenient landlord that will allow you to pay six months because i didn't know this and then i had to like look around but i was lucky to have found a landlord that lets me pay month to month as i'm currently doing and not most people can be this lucky so just know that you may have to prepare yourself beforehand and for me if i'm looking to move next year then i know that i will have to save and have that much money beforehand so just know that then the second point for me is that i didn't know that some places you won't be able to pay with your card in terms of swiping so sometimes i'll just go to a restaurant or somewhere and the card machines would not work so they'd ask me for mobile money so guys at first i didn't know what mobile money was so i had to like ask around and then i found some people who were nice enough to explain it to me then i later was able to go and open and mobile money account at MTN but had I known this before as soon as I got here I could have done it at that time unlike me having to have had a lot of embarrassing moments where I wasn't carrying cash and it looked like I didn't have money to pay the bill or I'd have to now find an ATM or ask a friend to do it for me but then I found out and I instantly did this and my life has been so much easier so now I'm able to just literally ask for a number and literally just give them the person their money instantly so yeah just get this if you want to make your life easier in Ghana because most people transact this way and I must admit it's very easy it's very convenient and I mean we do have something similar to this at home it's called e-wallet but most people at home use their um, bank accounts to transact money so it's not so common here I feel especially if it's like small amounts of money so just be prepared for this number three for me is that I wasn't aware that there can be so much traffic here and I guess I was living in a bubble beforehand because I was living in one area and the places I would go to would literally be five minutes apart from each other but now that I've moved to a new area I have realized that going to one area to another it may take you an hour sometimes so just know that you may have to leave home earlier and what I do when I know that I have to be somewhere at a certain time is I open up my Google Maps and check out for the red spots these indicate where there is um, a lot of traffic so there I am able to know which roads to use and which roads not to use when I request my uber and this has helped me a lot now that I know that and number four for me is I wasn't aware that Ghanaians 
although very 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 friendly I wasn't aware that sometimes they can be quite reserved and taken aback if you say maybe try to if you try and start a conversation it may be difficult sometimes because I feel like Ghanaians are a bit reserved in terms of people just don't go out just like speaking to each other randomly or trying to start a conversation I mean I've I'm dealing with it in terms of finding and making friends because I mean I have tried to speak to some people but it has been hard in terms of the conversation wouldn't really flow and I wouldn't know how to approach the person or they'll just say something like a word one word answer and then I don't know what to do after that so it's been quite difficult in terms of you meeting new people and trying to meet people in that way but it's okay I mean when you do move to a place you must know that there are certain um, ways people you know deal with things and cultural patterns and all that so it's okay I'm learning and um, in time I'll be able to meet people more people I mean I do have one or two friends here so it's not that bad but you know sometimes it would be nice to just meet other people and just interact with other kinds of people so this is I mean this has been my personal experience and I'm just hoping that it will get better especially when my friend comes and visits soon then I'll we will be able to go out together maybe because I'm alone it may look like I'm a creep or something maybe they feel like I'm weird approaching them or trying to talk to them but you know it's something that will pass hopefully by God's grace but yeah these are the some of the things oh yeah and the last point that I didn't want to mention is that don't be alarmed if you see tankers or maybe trucks in your neighborhood especially in your residential area I was quite shocked about this that trucks and um, tankers move in residential areas so sometimes when I'm on a road in my neighborhood, I'll be like, why is there such a big truck moving here? But, I mean, that's not such an important point, but I just wanted to point out that don't be alarmed by seeing trucks and things in your neighborhood. For me, I live in on a main road, so the noise is ghastly, but now I'm used to it. But at first, I was like, why are there trucks moving constantly in a residential area is there no designated area for this but i mean it comes with the territory so just know that this this thing oh and that wasn't my last point by the way i forgot there is also something else that i wanted to add that they are quite often some power outages and so don't be shocked when this happens Sometimes the lights will just go off without warning. Sometimes the whole day. Sometimes for a short time. So if you're looking for a place to stay, make sure that you find it a place with a generator or you either invest in one yourself if you want to have constant light. Cause then if the lights go off, then it can switch to generator. Um, yeah, just something that you should be aware of that the lights do go off and sometimes uh, maybe you have food in the fridge it could go off and things like that so just prepare yourself for these kind of things and yeah yeah that's my last point i'm finally done sorry about that but guys please don't forget to subscribe and click that like button and comment below on some of the things you have experienced 